Hello, and welcome to the final episode, episode 42 of the Pokemon Elegant Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke. I am Masterfish Plus, as I always have been. How are you? Have you enjoyed the run? I know I have. The end really snuck up on me. I was just recording one day, talking to you guys, and then bang, there it was, I realized. Next episode's the end. Um, we're definitely going to continue on with more games. I've been thinking about what we're going to do. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you that next week. But for now, well, let's do a team recap. So my calculations helped me reach the conclusion that level 56 was the level to be. So we brought the whole team up to level 56. Uh, first up is Palmer the Hirayama, who has been with us since the beginning of the game. Yes, Route 104. That's that's pretty much right away we caught him. Uh, holding the cl quick claw as always. Knows Rock Smash, learned a seismic toss during grinding. And uh, high jump kick, we kept, we put waterfall on, we kept that. And he just has a bunch of fighting moves. I didn't have anything to put in the place of Rock Smash, so I kind of just kept it. I needed a weaker... I wanted a weaker fighting type move that I could just throw out there instead of having to like finish people off with high jump kick. Um, you know, now that I really think about it, we could probably move this mm. and put like D Dance back on him, possibly. You know what? I might take a look at that in a second here. Poseidon the Kyogre, uh, Mystic Water Holding. We've had him for a very long time as well. No Surf, Ice Beam, Ancient Powder, and I put Thunder back on him by getting rid of Dive, which we definitely didn't need. The great thing about Thunder is that it gains 100% accuracy in the rain, so we'll be able to shock some things that we don't want on the field. Smokey, the Venusaur, obtaining a trade in Fortree City, holding the Miracle Seed, Razor Leap, Thunder Wave, Shock Wave, Poison Powder. I wish we could get like Sludge Bomb on him, or you know, Magical Leaf, or even Solar Beam, but he, uh, he went to learn Synthesis during grinding, and that's it. Hades the Groudon, holding the soft sand, Earthquake, Fly Crunch, Needle Arm, didn't have to do anything to his moveset, it's already great, and he's just insane stats, uh, we'll be relying on him heavily. Cleaver the Scissor, here, here for a short amount of time, but he's put in some work, holding the Metal Coat, Crunch, Metal Claw, Sword Stance, Needle Arm, great moveset, uh, been getting some good results for us. And, final, the Typhlosion, met on Route 105, but that wasn't really, that was more towards the midpoint of the game. Uh, hold the charcoal, ember, fire blast, shockwave spore, a move set that has not let us down yet. All right, that's that's the team. That's the recap. Let me think here. I want to look at TMs just for Palmer because I I don't I just logicked myself out of keeping. Ooh, eh. I logicked myself out of keeping. Uh, what's it called? I can't even remember the name anymore. Uh. Oh, you know what? He can learn Crunch. All right, I know what I'm gonna do. We're gonna fly. Why did I keep flying on Hades? Um, cause honestly, I, one, I had to get back here. <laughs> but two, what oh, should be forgotten? Rock Smash, get that out of here. I'll just use, I'll just use Seismic Toss. If I need to chip something down, I'll just Seismic Toss. It's 56 damage, done. All right, there we go. I need to get back here, but also Hades can use fly on grass types, or you know, if something is setting up on him, he can get out of the, he can get off the field for a turn. I don't know. Ooh, I'm nervous now. Uh, there's something you guys don't know about the the champion here. Beyond this point, only the trainers who have collected all the gym badges are permitted to enter. Trader, let us confirm that you have all of the gym badges. Trader, believe in yourself and your Pokemon and go forth. Indeed I will person who's probably a nurse, as we've learned. That is the trainer type. Uh, okay. So are we good to go? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Looks like we are indeed good to go. Alright. I've been talking about it for a long time. Well, I haven't said much about it lately, but this is the battle for our souls. Alright? Everyone's souls are on the line. Yes. All six of these mons. And you, the viewers. We could all lose our souls. Anyway. Uh, Sydney. So we got on par. We should be on par with his ace. And that's about the only leg up we get in the whole thing. Welcome, Challenger. I'm Sydney of the Elite Four. 
I like that look you're giving me. I guess you'll give me a good match. That's good. Looking real good. All right, you and me, let's enjoy a battle that can only be staged here in the Pokemon League. This dude absolutely has that voice. Look at him. He's chilled out, dude. He's like, oh, dude, let's do a battle, man. Oh, I put my vest on. I got my slacks, dude. I'm Gentleman Forest. Jumpliff. All right, uh, let me address the elephant in the room. Uh, something everyone's probably maybe thinking about. What's up with... What is, what's going to happen in, in this uh, in this battle? Because there are a lot more variables than we had in our first League attempt back in Gold version. We have stuff, we have more typings, we have more moves to worry about, we have better AI that we have to deal with. There's a lot that can go wrong. And that's one thing. But in addition to this, the levels are going to get pretty scary pretty fast. Oh, I don't like this. I'm gonna spore him. I don't wanna, I do not want to go down to uh, Doom, Doom Desire, no, uh, Destiny Bond. The champion is gonna be 10 levels above us. Um, he is gonna be like eight to 10 levels above us and he will have good, he'll probably have okay movesets and plenty of items to, to cheapen our experience with. So we have, you know, there could be some potentially bad times coming up. Come on, finish him off, please. Yes, nice hit final. So we gotta play super safe. I gotta be serious. Otherwise, we're, we're not gonna make it through this. We will not win. Um, I'm gonna go Smoky. And in addition to that, we have, because we don't have a lot of ethers or elixirs. We have to conserve moves, too. You notice I didn't use Fire Blast on that Haunter, even though I didn't want to have to deal with it for very long. You know, we got to use stuff like, I, yeah, I know he's going to go protect. I know he has it. So I'm going to burn one of my 35 power points of Poison Powder. I'm going to do it again because I need the added bonus of the damage that turn. Look, he's going for Skull Bash. This is going to sting, actually. And his defense went up. Um, I We should be fine if he hits up. Oh, man. I'm hoping we'll be fine if he hits us. You know, he doesn't have high attack, and Smokey's pretty defensive, so... Yeah, okay, that's good. And he keeps going protect. We're gonna poison him. That's... I'm not as mad... I got mad in the last episode about protect. I remember that. But I'm not as mad in this episode, because, you know, we gotta take this one mon at a time. It's very rhythmic. It's very strategic. We gotta be careful. I had debated putting spikes on, a, on one of our mons. Um, spikes is a move that will damage, do increasing amount of damage to Pokemon who are switched in or sent out after another one faints. So we could be, we could have been getting a lot of chip damage because of that. But I didn't, I didn't feel as though it would be super necessary. And later on that we went, I felt like that turn would be better used on uh, boosting our stats or using an X item. So I decided not to go with it. I think we can get him. I think we can get him right here. Come on, crit. Oh. We needed a crit. Now we're eating a Skull Bash. Which shouldn't take us out, even if it crits. Okay, good. Oh, man. I think he's going to full restore. So I'm going to take this opportunity to just Hyper Potion on my end. Oh, yeah. We don't have any full restores. I, I didn't... Yeah. Look, 3,000 bucks a pop definitely... Maybe we should have gotten 10, I don't know. But I was like, I have a billion lava cookies. I'm not, I'm not doing it. Yes, it landed. All right, you know, if we can get him to use all his full restores, it puts us in a good situation. Uh, best best thing we could do, right? He's, he's telling me what I should do. You know, we should switch to uh, Poseidon and click Thunder. You know, that would be a real sweet move to do, but Oh, shoot, I missed. Oh, well, that's fine. It's like, oh, I misclicked, and then he used Protect. So it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I wish we would have gotten Toxic. That would have been an excellent move to have. I don't think we have the Ethers for it. But I believe Poison types have a 100% hit rate with Toxic. So, would have been fine. I have to use Poison Powder. Now we have Sleep Powder, Poison Powder, and then they're Upgrades. Spore and Toxic. 
Well, we got Spore. And normally you get Toxic. So I guess we just traded, huh? I think I'd rather put something to sleep at 100% accuracy than poison it. Although it's bad poison. Toxic doubles the damage every turn. This freaking Blastoise, by the way, don't... <laughs> Don't think I'm not getting annoyed, it's just, I'm keeping my cool. I'm being chill, as the kids say. Yeah, yeah. You just, kinda just gotta uh, roll with the punches on this one, I guess. Please don't, okay, we're good. We won, we did it! Hooray! Take out, took out the first of Sydney's Mons after 10 minutes of episode. Jiminy Christmas, dude. And here comes Sceptile, a can Oh no, we already took out Haunter, what am I talking about? We have already, we have already taken out A1. Time for the rest of his Grass-type starter team. I guess there is one saving grace about the Elite Four, and that is that they only have... Come on, Master Fish Plus. Don't lose it here. This is the first member. The first guy. They only have five mods. We only have to worry about five. Man, he ate that. I wonder if we can get Spore on him. I wonder if he can use Detect every other turn. You know what? Something tells me he can. And he... Come on. Stay cool, bro. Good. Good. All right. Ugh. <sighs> It's just the detect spam, it's so, so awful. So awful. I guess I did it to myself. I don't think the original Elite Four movesets have detect in it that much, so. They, they, Game Freak said, you know, that would be really cheap if we took a gauntlet like this and gave every, every Mon the ability to stall. You know what I hope we don't see? I hope that we can avoid seeing any legendaries with pressure. That would be another thing that's going to can us quick. You know, we don't have infinite PP, and it's really something we got to worry about in this one, because we're, as you can see, we're not sweeping anybody's team. You know, I'm not one, I can one-shot this Altaria because I have a Kyogre with Ice Beam, but that's not happening, that's not going to happen very often. Oh, I love the strategy of it. I love having to be careful and have things... They need to work, you know? I can't stay in on, on final, because it's going to take 100,000 embers to take down an Altaria. And I can't stay in there, because the only move I could use is Ice Beam again, which isn't going to be as cost-efficient as Ember, and the other move is Ancient Power, which I don't want to use, because I only have five of. You know, I need to... I need to cons... Oh my gosh, not this again. I need to conserve Ancient Powers, and here's why. I might need the stat boost on... Are you kidding? That did nothing! Oh, Lord. Um, it's raining. That's what's going on here. I... I misplayed. Um... Let's get the sunlight out, I guess. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go to Hades, we'll cook fly. That's it. That's what we'll do. Goodbye. Did I say we go to Hades and click fly? I meant we're gonna go to Hades so that the sun comes out, then switch back to final and click ember. <laughs> you guys, you, th you thought that I meant, you, when I, you said, I said that, you thought that I meant that? It's on you guys, come on now. I would never. That would've hurt. You know, that would have hurt if it hit Hades. This jump left is probably just going to annoy us to death. Really making my speed up button itchy. Yeah, Leech Seed, Sleep Powder, Mega Drain, and what's its last move? Protect. That's probably it. Come on. Just one more, baby. I don't even care about that. This jump puff outspeeds me and clicks Sleep Powder. I'm gonna really wish I'd bought full restores. Yeah, welcome to high level jump puff play. Isn't it impressive? Doesn't it make you go, wow? Makes me go, Ugh. makes me angry. 
All right, guess we're switching. I'm not gonna spend two turns. Let's go to Cleaver. We'll finish this off. I'm not gonna spend two turns doing Cotton Spore. That's your last move, drop my speed. I'm not gonna spend two turns getting his HP back up and stuff just for Leech Seed to continue taking its toll and him to predict what I'm doing. Uh, let's go Metal Claw. Oh my gosh! The Sleep Powder accuracy is pretty intense. We don't have a fast Mon anymore that can stuff him. Speed Form Deoxys, anyone? Speed Form Deoxys. All right, well, there's the Leech Seed. HP's coming back. Sunlight is strong. I should have clicked Fire Blast. This is un- this is ungodly. This is awful, by the way. This is the worst case scenario. Finally, you miss. Can I get a really heavy Metal Claw here? Can I get a hard hit? Oh. So how have you guys been doing, huh? Let's get away from the game for a second. Has it? Oh. All right, that's it. No more nice guy. I'm hitting the. I'm hitting some buttons. I'm gonna do some stuff here. I'm gonna go over to you. Yeah, yeah. Put me to sleep. That's cool. Cotton spore to lower my speed. I'm going poison powder. There we go. Yeah, I can't. I can't stand this like having to go in slow motion and watch my team fall asleep. I'm gonna hit the- I'm gonna hit the forward button because, you know, spending like 17 minutes on the first battle here is not my idea of entertainment. At some stage, you know, you gotta push it along a bit. I'm trying to get- I'm trying to get things going, and you're kind of standing in my way. Uh, let's go back to Cleaver, because Cleaver's got the damage. Although incoming sleep powder is incoming. Mega Drain. You went Mega Drain on Venusaur, huh? That was your grand strat. Yo, I'm just glad we put Jump Bluff on a timer here. Yeah, you don't have infinite... You don't, you can't have infinite time to play your stupid shenanigans, alright? Jeez. Jeepers, guys. Can you believe this guy? Alright, Metal Claw, finish it off. No? Alright. That's a Metal Coat Stab Metal Claw. I never knew Jump Bluff was so annoying. Finally! It took my whole freaking team to deal with that. Well, how do you like that? I lost. Uh, it was fun, so it doesn't matter. It wasn't fun, dude. You take that back. Well, listen to what this loser has to do. You are a loser. You've got what it takes to go far. Now go on to the next room and enjoy our next battle. I will enjoy my next battle, thank you. I'm gonna feed my whole team cookies. Get on with it. I don't have any super type potions, do I? Any citrus berries? I have five. Well, that's what they look like. There you go. Dang it. Use the darn. Yes, I have to resort to citrus burying my team up because I'm low on medical supplies. Okay. Time to do 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 I'm Phoebe of the Elite Four. I did my training on Mount Pyre. While I trained, I gained the ability to commune with ghost-type Pokemon. Yes, the bond I developed with Pokemon is extremely tight. So come on, just see it. Just try and, just try and see if you can even th inflict damage on my Pokemon. I don't know why all of a sudden I couldn't read, but that was what happened. All right, Phoebe, you look like you're from, you look like you're from the island. Ooh, that's not what I wanted to see right away. Uh, there's gonna be some barriers coming out. Body slam. Never mind. Body slam. That's what Palmer needs. Oh, yes! That's what we wanted. Now we're in business. Palmer just went Super Saiyan, dude. Super Saiyan Palmer over here. Uh, we're gonna high jump kick. 
Please don't switch to a ghost type. Oh, I said it in the last episode, and here it is. Um, <laughs> we haven't fought Rayquaza. We've never run into Rayquaza. Rayquaza's just not been around in this run. Yikes. Oh, I'm a little, I'm a little nervous. Okay, good, he used fly. All right, that's like the one thing that, that's allowable here. Oh, we're faster? We're faster than Rayquaza. Oh my lord. I gotta, I gotta take a step back. I gotta use a Hyper Potion here because I don't know what his next move is gonna be. I mean, we're faster though. We are faster than Rayquaza. Okay, good. Oh, I was afraid that just the logic wouldn't be there on this one moment that we needed it. Rayquaza is not living Ice Beam. I knew that if Ice Beam landed, it wasn't surviving. But us, oh no. Oh jeez, you caught us with, you caught us with our pants down. You know what? No, Ice Beam's times four. I'm not doing it again, you know? It took way too many resources to deal with the previous stupid frickin' jump pluff. No! All right, it wasn't that bad. It's not that bad. I'm just, my annoyance, my anger is reaching a different level. It could be worse, it could be worse, all right? You know, it could be worse. We gotta go to Hades, because we gotta get the sun out so that we can do anything. Uh, another level 56 jump up. What are the freaking chances? We know your moveset, we know your game. I'm gonna go for fly, you're gonna click sleep powder and land it. I know what's gonna happen here. Oh, you clicked Mega Drain twice. Well, that was dumb. Goodbye. Mega Drain does a. Mega Drain's the one that does the set damage. Giga Drain's the one that does damage based on how much damage you do back. So, even. This is gonna hurt. Hoping this takes out Jump Bluff, but. Giga Drain would be the one that we don't wanna use Fly and then uh, switch to. Or get hit by. Oh, we moved after, anyway. We're gonna go Crunch then. It's Crunch time, guys. Crunch from Hades should do a good amount of damage, right? I don't remember Jump Left being so bulky. It's very strange to see. Well, let's... Oh, thank you. Thank you, God! Thank you. Thank you. This is, this is a very tense Elite Four match. It was not like this in Gold Version. I am feeling the tension, tension. Lapras, all right, well we gotta switch for Lapras. Unfortunately, Poseidon's asleep. I guess we're gonna go to Cleaver. No, we should go to Palmer and click High Jump Kick, right? Lapras probably has Parish Song, an Ice move, and a Water move, and then, you know, whatever. If Lapras clicks Parish Song, you know, we have a chance. Because then I'm, I'm just gonna heal our party and switch. I don't like Lapras. I don't like facing Lapras. Oh, Rain Dance. That's not great. I wish you hadn't clicked that. However, this is probably gonna drop you. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, what's that? All right. Oh, sweet, we're faster. Oh, that was right, Quick Claw. There we go. That's a messy strategy. Paralyzed Quick Claw. Oof. Ah, there's Meganium. It's raining now, though. Uh, Cleaver doesn't really have anything, does he? We could send out Hades, but I really don't want to catch anything. I don't think Meganium can do anything to Cleaver, so let's just click Swords Dance and then Metal Claw. Sometimes the defensive option is the best option when you want to take down a Mon that has a bunch of bulk to it. I've used strategies like this before. And you go safeguard. 
So you know Safeguard, you know Body Slam, which isn't going to really stop Cleaver. And probably a Grass. I hope not. I hope you don't know Synthesis. You shouldn't know Synthesis. Synthesis is, should have been gone by now. Light Screen. Okay. Well, that's not a fun one, but we don't care. There's no situation in which that bothers us. I hope I, I hope this Metal Claw gives us an attack boost, because then we won't need a switch. That's a bad move for you. Here's why. Metal Claw gets an attack boost sometimes. So if we nail that, you know, you just... You prolonged the inevitable and made it so that your next mod's in even more trouble. And there goes the rain. We just need to avoid the Paralyze here. Unbelievable. Okay, good. Jeez. Gets... That, that Meganium is a hundred, is, is two for two with Body Slam paralyze, Paralyzes. Just perfect score. Ooh, Blossom. All right, well, good news is we can handle this. Level 59, you gotta be kidding me. You're gonna go Sweet Scent? Let's throw it away. Throw it away. It's not how that song goes, but... It's, that's, that's how I feel about it. All right, one more and we have it. Even with the Citrus Berry, I don't think that's going to save you. Oh, that might have saved her. Pedal Dance! Ooh! You're, you're putting it all on black, aren't you? You're letting it ride. Go for it. Power to you. You have more guts than I do. Lock yourself into a move on your last Mon. That's going to... Oh, jeez. Ah, everyone's falling over themselves now. Blossom is confused. Good. I've had enough of your games. There we go. Oh! Oh darn, I've gone and lost. That's right you have. There's a definite bond between you and your Pokemon, too. I didn't recognize it, so it's only natural that I lost. Yup, I'd like to see how far your bond will carry you. Go ahead, move on to the next room, where you'll meet the most frigid woman in the game. She's not nice. Uh, I just, I gotta just use these, dang it. Should've really bought Super Potions. No, I was at the other Mart. I went to the other... I went shopping at more places than just Evergrande, so... I'm sure you can tell by my items. There's a couple things in there that don't fit the bill. Alright, where are we at with our team leaders? Alright, you need about 50 HP back on you, don't you? Man, I really wish I would have grabbed super potions, but I was like, Oh, we have enough, we have enough of the other ones. We have enough, uh, cherry-flavored potions. We don't need any orange-flavored. Where are my orange berries? I have one. Turns out it was just enough. All right, I want Hades to lead off because fire. Welcome. My name is Glacia of the Elite Four. I've traveled from afar to Hoenn so that I may hone my ice skills. But all I have seen are challenges by weak trainers and their Pokemon. What about you? It would please me to no end if I could go all out against you. But I probably won't. Mm. I don't know, was that a good voice for her? I think so. Is that a gold Pokeball? Gentleman Sonia sends out Scyther. I think we read this one pretty well. Because we're about to get Sunny Day and Fly. Although I don't really want to use Fly because he could set something up for when we land. Eh, it's a grout on. Oh. Ah! I don't like it. Mm. I don't like it now. I'm upset. I made a bad choice. Please don't click Swords Dance again. Oh, I'm rapidly running out of options. Oh, thank God. Please take him out. Take him out. Take him out. Um. Okay. Crunch time. Literally crunch time. Uh, yes. Okay. Good. Oh, my heart, my heart rate, uh, it went up by like 10 beats per minute during that. <laughs> Pidgeot. 
Uh, we want we don't want to deal with any of these mons that if we don't have to. So we're gonna switch to. We're we're past two of the elite four, so we're gonna pop some of these mons if we can. And Pidgeot is definitely one that we can just pop. We can uh. We can take advantage. We got seven ice beams. Yeah, we can take advantage of the weakness to lightning and pop a thunder on it. Maybe we get that paralyzed too. We can finish him off with surf. I don't know if this will take him out. Ooh, wow. Okay, yeah. Jeez. Hey, no, that's what I wanted. You know, if I click thunder, something should be dropping. Something should be going down. And it looks like Hades is going to get his chance to do his first earthquake in the entirety of the Elite Four run. Good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff. I won't say... I think this could be going better, you know? I'm, I'm of the mind that... I want my runs to go buttery smooth and, you know, we just run over everything, but... You know, this this fight's gone pretty good so far, but I, I don't know. I'm a little worried about our potion situation. Clefable. Uh, what would be a good move for Clefable? I think high jump kick. Clefable shouldn't, should have Sing, but Sing won't work on Palmer because he's already paralyzed, so they won't click it. I'm thinking a, a good high jump kick will land and take, him, take this Clefable out. So we shouldn't have to worry too much. Clef it could be a lot worse than Clefable. Ooh, that might cause a problem. Dang! Never mind. Palmer's out here with those with those freaking giant hands, man. He's just slapping things. But it said high jump kick. Yeah, we've been over this a million times. Palmer uses his hands for high jump kick. He just flies at him and bah! Pops him in the face. Open hand slaps. Come on. Ooh, I don't like that, but Dunsparce for all you know is headbutt, so. Bah! Goodbye, Dunsparce. I hope. Dunsparce can be bulky, so. Oh, guess it's nothing. Great, that went super smooth. I'm glad. We needed one of those. You and your Pokemon, how hot your spirits burn. The all consuming heat overwhelms. It's no surprise that my icy skills failed to harm you. Now, I remember her being meaner. Advance to the next room, and there, confirm the truly fearsome side of the Pokemon League. Yeah, I know who's in the next room, and it is truly fearsome. Normally. See, this time, we don't have anything to worry about. We are... We're gonna go home for free. You see, Drake doesn't have his normal setup. Who do we lead with? Uh, I like leading with Hades, but we got to watch his moves. Oh, he's doing good on it. He's doing good on PP, so we're good. Uh, just to get a quick status update, where are you? No surfs yet. Uh, nothing bad there. You're doing fine. We can probably start using Fire Blasts if we need them. So going Hades and then final should be good. Oh, wait, what's his voice? I am the last of the Pokemon League Elite Four, Drake the Dragon Master. In their natural state, Pokemon are wild, living things. They are free. At times, they hinder us. At times, they help us. For us to battle with Pokemon as partners, do you know what it takes? Do you know what is needed? If you don't, then you will never prevail over me. Drake has no reason to be as cool as he is. Just this old sea captain that uses dragons. He's just perfectly in his element in Hoenn, which is 95% water. This might... Ooh, this is a bad matchup. Oh, I've been waiting for this day. I've been waiting for this my whole life. <laughs> Goodbye. What? How do you live? You flinched. Needle arm can flinch? You're going to use a full restore. You are gonna waste that full restore. You should have just bagged your Quagsire. You should have just tossed him out. Like, ah, he's not gonna win this. He's up against Groudon using Needle Arm. Dude, you're. What an excellent opening. Dude wastes his resources. 
and sends out the Mon we can quad hit with a Groudon. Really, that's a testament to Quagsire's power, if anything. That Quagsire should not be living those. Alright, what do you got? Mew! Alright, against my better judgment. Well, then again, I don't... It's like, better judgment? We need to use... If, to take out this Mew, we need to use something that has high PP and a high chance of one-shotting. Because... Mew has pressure. Oh my lord. If this doesn't one shot, we gotta. Yeah. Shoot. That sucks. We gotta play a different game. Dang it. It's too much damage from Mew, you know? You can't. It's. I can't make that work. We need something that's gonna resist Psychic. That is a strong freaking psychic. If I get a special defense drop, I, it, it's gonna be a hairy situation. Oh no. Ah, that's not a great one. Now he just has like plus one to defense and special defense. Oh, it didn't matter. Good. I really didn't want to deal with that. Shuckle. Uh, Shuckle is going to click this isn't this isn't gonna be a competitive shuckle, so it's not gonna have toxic. I think he's just sending it out because typing? I don't know. I don't know what you think you're gonna do, but I'm absolutely taking this opportunity to pop uh, hyper potion on Hades, cause Safeguard, that's what you got. Alright, you know, you shot, you shoot, you shot your shot. Wait, doesn't you have pressure? Shouldn't I have one less surf? Wow. That is rough. What else you got? Pidgeot? Oh, we know. <laughs> we know how this is going to go. Gentleman Scarlet is not ready for our high level strats. Our high level uh, um, drizzle thunder strats. Bye. It was nice playing with you. <laughs> Yikes. All right, who's next? Gliger. Yeah, well, you know, that's how it goes. You win some, you lose some. Sometimes you never even got a chance to play. Here it comes. <laughs> Here comes the wall of water. I'm very pleased with how this fight went. Very pleased indeed. All right, well, that's that. Um, now my, now my nervousness. Superb, it should be said. You deserve every credit for coming this far as a trainer of Pokemon. You do seem to know what is needed. Yes, what a trainer needs is a virtuous heart. Pokemon touch the good hearts of trainers and learn good from wrong. They touch the good hearts of trainers and grow strong. Go, onwards, the champion is waiting. Whoa! Oh boy. Well, boys and girls, <laughs> we uh, we are gonna go and face the champion. Oh man. Is there anything else that we can? Ah, stores HP in battle, but may confuse. We can't use it outside of battle. All right, well, none of the berries we have are gonna do anything. Ooh, can we use these? We can. All right, sweet, let's use some Lepo Berries. Uh, your PP should be good. I think we should use one on Ice Beam, just so we have them. I guess they can be used in battle too, huh? Yeah, well, we'll I guess we're good then. I don't foresee us spamming Ice Beam to the extent that we need a billion of them. I'm going to lead with final so that we can spore. Um, well, guys, <laughs> we beat the Elite Four. Now we're going to fight the champion. And oh, yes, it's going to be Harry. His, his mons are going to be even higher than level 63 Ace we just saw. So this is the one I was wait. This one we've all been waiting for. The battle for our souls is about to come to fruition yet again. Let's go. Man, 
I always get so nervous. We're gonna win. We're gonna do great, though. We're gonna we're gonna destroy them. Mm, welcome, fish. That incident in Pseudopolis City. That was superb work, putting an end to that crisis all by yourself. Oops. It wouldn't be fair to say that you alone ended the crisis. You overcame that difficult situation by working as one with your Pokémon. Mm, we trainers raise Pokémon by giving them items and by teaching them new techniques for battle. But we ourselves also learn many things from Pokémon. And this is where your achievements are put to the test against what others like you have achieved. Now, who can most elegantly dance with their Pokémon in Hoenn? Hmm? Show me right here and now. Uh-oh. I think he's serious, guys. <laughs> Ooh, nice cape, dude. Rocker Trist! What the heck? Oh, shoot! Something's loading up on my computer. Oh, uh, what is this? I didn't tell you to start. Gosh dang it, you're ruining my shoe! Alright, level 66 to start. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Um... <laughs> I know, that was a really... WAIT! Something's not right. Why is there a Graveler on my screen? That should be a Golem. I don't understand. What am I missing? All Mons should be Mac- All Mons should be at their final stage by level- at level 37 and higher, they should all be at their or no, 36 and higher, they should all be at their final stage. So why is this Graveler not a Golem? I wonder. I do, I do wonder. That's very strange. I don't like it. Kinda, it embitters, it embitters the battle. Oh, you know what? There is... Armaldo, I gotta stay focused. This is Bug Rock, right? He's, I don't know why he would switch to Armaldo now. You know, I always have a problem figuring out Armaldo's type. I can't check that out. So what do we switch to? If it's Bug Rock, he he has nothing. He's switching to Armaldo. Armaldo's not carrying a light, an electric move or a grass type move or anything else that's gonna hurt us. So I'm just gonna stay in and click Surf again. Because I don't think we have to worry. And he's level 63 instead of 66. We shouldn't be in too much trouble. He went Protect, all right. I get your game. I see what you're doing here. I really... That is upsetting about the... Yeah, he's spamming Protect. Yeah, get out of here, dude. If that's the best you got, the battle's already over. Ooh, you picked the wrong mod. Let's see if Poseidon can sweep his whole team, huh? That'd be a BM. What the heck? I was... You're seeing this, right? This, th that doesn't make sense. Yeah, I think I think the sign's gonna sleep his whole thing here. I, uh, I I don't like the looks of this for Wallace. This is gonna be a very underwhelming victory for me, but hey, a battle for everyone's souls, a win's a win. Wigglytuff, okay, we're switching. We are switching to our good old boy, Palmer. I'm glad Palmer's gonna get some, get some love in this battle. I hope this is a level 66 Wigglytuff. I want him to topple it. This better be your ace, dude. Oh, it's 64. Whatever. Hey, he's got a... He's got a rough rough and tough looking team here, but uh, I got bad news for you. My team is rougher and tougher. They have been born and bred by victory. They have... They have only known victory. They have never lost. They've seen their brothers and sisters fall before the demons of this game, and they have grown stronger. They've resolved to avenge them. Tentacruel? Ooh, that's a bad choice for you, dude. Um, I want to go Hades. I want to go Hades and just, just bad manners this, this Tentacruel. I'd like everybody to get a chance in the sun, but, uh, uh, we already swept out three of them with, <laughs> swept half his team with Poseidon. I don't think this guy has anything. I think he's bluffing. We're gonna go Earthquake on this ten. Duh! <laughs> I didn't like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
<laughs> I'm getting too cocky. I know that would have been in the sun hydro pump, but I still don't think Hades would have liked it. Hades isn't built to take those. Ilamise! Oh, baby. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for a situation like this. Final has been chomping at the bit to blow someone sky high. I would love nothing more than to end this run against the level 67 Illumise and land this. Flatter, uh-oh. All right, so good news, bad news. Special attack went up. I'm confused. We're flipping a coin here, guys. Come on, final end in style. Oh! Oh, that's really, that's too bad. You know, you hate to see it. Kavet! <laughs> I'm sorry, Wallace, you just... <laughs> <laughs> you lose! You fail! You cannot win! Oh. My gosh, that, that, Sydney was harder than Wallace. I, the champion, fall in defeat. That was wonderful work. You were elegant, infuriatingly so. And yet it was utterly glorious. Kudos to you, Master Fish Plus. You are truly a noble Pokemon trainer. Uh, Master. Thank you, it's in the title. The Pokémon you sent into battle, at times they danced like a spring breeze, and at times they struck like lightning. It was with light yet sure-footed elegance that you led your Pokémon. Even I felt bedazzled by your masterful performance. You now stand at the glorious peak of the Pokémon League. I now proclaim you to be the new Hoenn region. Uh-oh. Fish! Here's some advice before you challenge the champion. Uh-huh. What, what, what? Fish, could it be that it's already over? See? What did I tell you, May? Didn't I tell you that you don't need to worry about Fish? Fish, you've finally done it. When I heard that you defeated your own fa- When I heard that you overpowered your own father at the Battleburg Gym, I thought perhaps you had a chance. But to think you've actually become the champion. Ah, yes. What became of your Pokedex? Here, let me see. Hmm. So you've seen 177 and caught 37. Wait, what? I've got more than that. Well, it could use more quantity, but this is looking more like a Pokedex now. Mm -hmm. On a nationwide basis, you've seen 340 and caught 73. Anyways, congratulations. Now go proudly into the final room. Mm -hmm. Fish. No, let me rephrase that properly. Master Fish, come with me. I'm sorry, but from here on, only those trainers who are champions may enter. You'll have to wait outside with Professor Birch. Oh, come on. I'm just joking. That's okay. That's the rule. Fish, honestly, congratulations. That's right, congratulations. Mm, this room. This is where we keep records of Pokemon that prevailed through a harsh battles. It is here that League champions are honored. Very shiny floors in here. Come on, let's record your name as a trainer who triumphed over the Pokemon League and the names of the partners who battled with you. Can we remember the dead? Can we have a moment for the dead? If I was a better editor, I'd get a moment for the dead. Sorry to all the mons that died. You will, you will be remembered. We won for you. Wow, it's finally the Typhlosion. I remember him. Wow, it's it's beside the Kyogre. I remember him too. Smokey the Venusaur. Oh, there's my boy. Palmer the Hariyama. Cleaver the Scissor. And <laughs> Hades the crowd on. Oh my gosh. Yo, Palmer freaking stuck it to me. I kept saying, oh, I'll replace Palmer. I'll replace Palmer as soon as I can. And you know what? He freaking high jump kicked his way into the freaking legends, dude. The freaking record books. I've never seen so many slapped. I've never seen so many slaps. Holy crap. Well, that is yet another battle for our souls that has, that has been won. And we did it together. 
all of you great and wonderful viewers who came along on this journey. Uh, oh, that hurts. Uh, that was, oh, that hurts too. Um, ooh, ooh, they're really getting me in the feels right now. Oh, no. Come out, oh, jeez. Look, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to lose you guys. Look, it just... Some of you fought like Mewtwo and stuff. What was I supposed to do, man? <laughs> oh, it's bad. It's bad and I know it. Um, I'm grateful to all the viewers, as I said. Some of you have really helped me out a lot during this run by, you know, reminding me of where to go and what to do and giving suggestions, like getting rid of that bag on, you know... Uh, that was a really great suggestion that we got there because we used uh, We used Smokey all the way up through the rest of the game um, Yeah, I'm grateful to everyone who was voting for the tokens. I think that worked out. Well, uh, we might be doing I'm probably gonna be at doing that more in the next runs um, Our next game probably won't be a randomizer based on what I know but There will still I think I can still find some good crowd uh, interaction because I like interacting with you guys um, you can check out my channel description. You know, I'm doing this so that I can play with friends and I consider subscribers friends. Or, you know, even viewers friends. You don't need to subscribe to be able to give me some advice or interact, so please do. As always, you know, if you enjoyed this series or any of the others, like, comment, subscribe, uh, ring the bell for notifications so you can get them. This is a growing channel. I fully intend to, to reach more people. I'm not gonna say I'm good at it, because I'm really not. But I want to grow this so that we can all play these games and have a good time. You know, just like I did when I started watching these. When I started watching stuff like this. You know, I did it and it really, it really helped me out. I had a good time and I want to extend that to other people. But enough of this sappy stuff. Thank you again for watching. Um, I hope to see you in the next run, whatever that happens to be. But for now... My dear friends, farewell.